I think I want to emphasize that the playground, if, if anyone remotely follows, you know, even if you click like your favorite artist or something, Instagram has probably pulled up one of your videos or someone who has mm-hmm. danced at that studio, someone's mm-hmm. video, like anyone listening would probably recognize this background. It's the, the brick background and it says play yes. in like um, red, I think. And it has, yep. like, I don't know if it has lights or like little dots of white or something, but yes. it's very recognizable. And it's iconic. It is. And with that, it also, I feel like in my mind, you know, you're going to get quality content. Mm-hmm. There's, there's definitely like um, a correlation there with, seeing that and you know okay this is going to be a kick-ass video yeah so I think that just kind of shows the level of which you're at and I'm no dance expertise (laughs) but I don't (laughs) judge that yeah Um, no the the people that teach there and dance there are uh you're gonna get high quality content and videos and teachers there um so yeah I I don't like to be like oh yeah it's so great but me teaching there is really a, a big stepping stone and validation of like how hard I've worked yes cheers to that and <laughs> I to talk about how like at what point did you go from just dancing there to teaching there or were you always mm-hmm. teaching there how did that work uh it's funny actually I um I've always been teaching. Teaching is my passion and uh, choreography is my passion. I like to dance, but it's not my passion like those two. Um, So when I was teaching in LA sporadically through different studios, I was like, the goal was always playground. Like I had playground, a picture of playground on my vision board um, for the longest time. So last year I really uh, put a focus on trying to take classes there more, um, connecting with uh, who was there and and I actually organically connected with Robin Anson who is half owner of Playground and she just her and I just clicked like we were just like two peas in a pod and we started creating together and then she started believing in me and if you don't know anything about her she's uh, she created the Pussycat Dolls mm-hmm. so it was pretty iconic for me to just uh kind of go under her wing and just like be like take me in (laughs) but she took me in and like taught me everything huh how did you meet her I met her uh I think I met her through uh, social media I think and then I started taking her classes and I was like oh this woman is iconic right and then um uh we just connected through like we knew so many mutual people and then we started talking and she started seeing my videos and loving what I was doing and then she asked to dance with me and I was like me okay girl (laughs) so then um we started creating together and she's just taking me in and it's just another uh another great connection and influence that I have um and reason why I got to playgrounds as well. I love that. It sounds like you're friends, but maybe she's almost like a mentor. That's even something. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, that's even something like I'm still trying to figure out how to build mentors because it's mm-hmm. really important. And it's sometimes it, I think the mentors that stick are the ones like a situation that you just described where it really comes naturally. But mm-hmm. I mean, it, it does take a little bit of work in, in um, trying to understand how to build those relationships that lead to one like that you know what I mean Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yes of course and every like self-help book I've read is like mentors are so important da 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 and I've like I've put that in focus I want that I want that I want that and then it just organically happened and uh I don't even know if she knows that she's like such a mentor to me but she is so (laughs) yeah it's, it's kind of funny how it all worked out yeah I love that I need to start putting it out there that I need mentors like that because I have had in my mind and also just in my outreach to different people, I've, um, I've wanted that too, but mm-hmm. you just kind of reminded me that I should try to be like putting it out there in my intention and kind of like speaking it into existence almost because I, mm-hmm. like it, for, for me recently, it's been some, some conversations and such, but nothing really sticks. So thank you for that, that reminder that I don't even know if you of course. <laughs> Yeah, of course. I think too, mentors uh, also want to see they're they're more uh, likely to help you if you're already helping yourself as much as possible. So with me having so much content out there and her seeing like, I know what I'm doing and I know my stuff, like, I think it was easier for her to be like, okay, like, I want, you know, like, we kind of help each other and it, it, it worked out. So 
because it's a symbiotic relationship. You both benefit. Mm-hmm. 